darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar. But I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. Endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes. I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <sighs> I seriously doubt that. <sighs> I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember. Zigzag, when you run, okay? Hit up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid, it's... It's genius. Alright. Going on three. One. Two. Three! Go! again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with him. That's okay. 
We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gornis, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here, then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <clears throat> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. That's what Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. You couldn't fight fair, could you? I had to call in some goons to take her on. Goons? I wouldn't call Brick and Mordecai that. They're highly trained vault hunters, and they deserve your respect. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey! You said you wouldn't hurt anyone! No. I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, okay, we'll work for you. But we get a cut. Oh, hmm. That ain't a good idea. You're seriously asking for a cut? While I have a knife in your sister? Clearly I should phrase that differently. We'll discuss terms when you get back. Okay. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, you shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do that. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this come isn't on, the first time on. we've Just had to get creative. Everyone we'll, calm down, we'll okay? Find our... Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we could How's your tum tum there, buddy? That'll one. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should and bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong, sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on every I could use your help. Mission. Yeah, so of course you could. I'm not the one Is that a yes to or no? What? You think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? Great. Real I'd, helpful. 
honestly don't reality. know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. So the listen, I hate to be the bearer of good news here, Mallory's but if there's one thing you know her. about me, it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. That's why I'm going to share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once upon a time, a few of my guys bought, yeah, borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You know, give it a rest. I know you love hearing yourself yammer on, but just spit it out, will you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I seriously talk too much, Reese? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> and no one's ever told me the truth before. Thank you. Thanks for your honesty. I really appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reese the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man. I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're going to get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Hey, vet, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then, I'll disable the security system. Yeah, it'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the Hub of Heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... I'll digestruct a vast skies. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. 
So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess. He'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. So, I guess you want us to believe the location just magically popped into your head. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, you were acting pretty strange after we got out of the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're 100%. But you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me, okay? I know Helios like the back of my hand. <laughs> Which one, jerk-off? Oh, actually, I was wondering about that. When you take care of business, do you use robo-hands or your real one? All right. Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this. Thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Cause he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Now, Scooter's a solid guy. He's not gonna hold a tiny little con against us. I guess he does seem to like us. Yeah, maybe. Ha! It's our living, breathing Fra Fiona! Looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen! Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, ha <laughs> ha! Wait, no, I'm not like you're a fast woman or... Aw, oh, shoot. Scooter! Great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on! <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it pop. But anyway, it's great to see you! What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no, it's, it, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Uh, would one of you, like, open your mouths and make with the wording so I can, I can shut mine? Scooter, we are going to space. What? I love space! It's like my fourth favorite thing, behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact. That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh, no. Janie's been like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't in much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Janie, I'm sorry about Athena. But we'd really like your help. Well, I'd like my girlfriend back. Looks to be a rough day for everybody. She said it was just an easy protection job. 
as if anything's ever easy out here. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she was protecting you, but why? She said it wouldn't be dangerous. She said... She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... Damn it. She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just sit. want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted... Sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a fluke or something. Hell, you don't need to hear this. Sorry. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh. Goodness. Okay. Oh. Wow. Young lady, you are gonna have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm gonna grab every gun I can carry, I'm gonna drive out of here, I'm gonna rescue my girlfriend, and I'm gonna marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. What do you say, ladies? Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. Alright, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reeds. It's, well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get uh, a little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah, let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. Dumpy, I need you to go scout out ahead. Can you do that? Uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Dumpy, over there. Dumpy go! And do nothing! <sighs> Back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. 
All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. Uh, uh, what were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly uh, haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh, uh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. You know what, not to blow up your ego, kid, but I see a real future for you at Hyperion. It's kind of future where two like-minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. Huh? If you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you someday. The SS Jack's Apprentice. Cool, right? You can help me climb the ranks of Hyperion. Climb? That's poor person talk, Reesey. Think rocket powered yacht to the frickin' moon. Huh? You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Well, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now. Don't wanna end up psycho dinner. Mr. Huh? Sleep Pattern? Oh, Wallace! Not now. Interrupt, Rem Psycho! Jumpy, attack! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. Swat, metal bug. Thanks, Dumpy. Oh. Yeah. Right back at you. Oh, little baby butt did good. Electroshock therapy. I like that. that that's, that's classy. Gotta use that little shock around my ex-girlfriend. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a <laughs> Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Mm, nope. Well, this is a fun night. Oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh. Mmm. Okay. Just peeling it off. Peeling it off the face. Not going to barf into his mouth. <laughs> With your mouth. <sighs> That's it. Go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so that that is just the the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh no 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 no! Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off! Just pinch it off! Oh, seriously? Oh, please don't do! Please, please, please don't do this to me! 
Oh, <laughs> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! Tell once I snatch that face pizza, gross, I sprint it out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho with chest bomb. Boom! You said something about a bomb, psycho? Oh. Yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash. You look about as low down Pandoran as they come. No offense. But if you want to be arrested within 10 seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran or this mission will be over before it even started. So. What are you gonna get, sis? All right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kind of want you to spend all of August's money. Hey. Or whatever, just pick something that says I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. All right, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Huh. Not bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream-crushed orphans. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. <laughs> you almost finished with that? Yep, I'm done. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey! Is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know. Ooh, not sure it's gonna work. What? Really? Why not? I mean, being Hyperion is just as much about the attitude as, as the clothes, so... Uh, it, put, put your nose up like you're, you know, uh, tracking down a stench. Better? Perfect. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks, just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah, have fun with that. Ch 
just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. Oh. Skin unlocked. Convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... Oh, definitely weird. Well, it certainly... Big. That's Scooter for you. I hope Vaughn's all right. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a vow. the con artist intervened. <laughs> That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Hours. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. <sighs> I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <sighs> I seriously doubt that. <sighs> I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <sharp inhale> zigzag when you run, okay? Hit up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It... <clears throat> Little help? Not a problem. That's creepy. Right. Sorry.
I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. Guess you kept your promise. I always do. At least, with you. It looks so... I don't... peaceful. It puts things in perspective. Everything that we've gone through, it all seems so small from up here. Yeah, it does. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. We get the beacon and ditch Valerie's goons. Leave him on Hyperion. Mm, I don't think Valerie will like it if August is left behind. I'm not really concerned with what Valerie likes and dislikes right now. Yeah. I gathered as much. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife from me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say. I ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that! Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trap! You won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. Don't worry, I won't do nothing stupid. It'll be like discreet and stuff. Uh, has anything you've ever done been discreet? I don't know, like spray painting a doll logo on a Helios? But see, I can't even do that till my new paint drone gets delivered. It's supposed to be next Tuesday. Is that a person? Hey, looks like we've got another dead bad guy. Henderson. No shit! Tell us something we don't know! Did you know? The damage is critical. So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Whose idea was it to bring this tin can? Um, how critical exactly? Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. So it's real bad? Pretty bad, yeah. Look y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck because that's my specialty! Now turn them other rockets up to 11! Still going? Now that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Our stair of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. Everyone stay calm. We got this. Ah, there's a the girl I fell in love with. What? Huh? What? Huh? Huh. I 
right, don't you worry, you're pretty little. Yeah, all of you, yeah, look yourself. Bye. I'll be walking you through it, though. I gotta 
was the first casualty of the mission. So, what did you do next? What could we do? We had to finish the mission. That's what Scooter would have wanted. I know what it is like to lose someone you care about. The worst part is... Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, I'm answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. I repeat. Identify yourselves, or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. We will fire. Howdy, gents. Miss me? You must have balls of steel showing your face back here. Ah, you're a gem. Well, I missed you guys, too. Big time, because I am Hugo Vasquez, and I miss guys that I miss. Yeah, we definitely have some catching up to do. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh. What's the word? Providence? Right. Providence. Sup, ladies, what you been doing? Talking about boys. Nope. Just discussing casual misogynism and how it manifests in corporate executives. Oh. Yeah, well. <laughs> Just getting around. And boys. Captain's brother is finally marrying his boyfriend. This is the happiest I've ever been. Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. So, that's how it's gonna be? The silent treatment, huh? Let's see how far that gets you. 
Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... On my way. Mm. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets, but you won't say what you're doing on Pandora. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Eva, it's so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Because you lost a critical Hyperion asset. This is on you. I'm sure we went over the particulars, but can you remind me what's in Reese's head that's You're so You're kidding valuable? me. And all the excitement on Pandora, it must have slipped my mind. I guess our reward slipped your mind too. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. Sure, let's talk to him. But if I go down, you're coming with me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Test me. Find out what I know about you. If you think I'd make a deal and not have my ass covered, then you don't know Hugo Vasquez. It's been real. Standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're linked. Now for the password. Dance? Let's dance. Oh, that was the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I got drain wreck into it. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace, though. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I broke the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Jason Jack Pack Attack coming at you, baby! Damn, we freaking rule! And that is not the royal we decide. Ah, security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec, let me find you.
Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. Yeah, if I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the hub of heroism. Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although we could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. Howdy. No, Rue, right? Some lady's trying to get my attention when clearly I'm having an important conversation. So, uh, what are you wearing? You ready for this? I was fabricated, programmed, and wired ready. I was also built to death. Handsome Jack Memorial and Tour. It's like they worship. What the hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. Said my gun doesn't talk. Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. Alright, checking the schedule. Alright, a guide will be coming off her tour any second. We're on it. Nope, not a tour guide. That doesn't look like a tour guide. Nope. Alright, there's the tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah, when I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Well, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job! believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food? <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Ugh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that Brie hyperhydrated crap, I... out you do you have any idea who this is a uh, nice tour guide lady the tour guide lady she's come on i'll help you find a change of clothes you know have you ever considered a management position i mean the way you demean that little robot you'd be perfect where do i put in my application
Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordas. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Mm -mm. Pretty though. Uh, nice masks. Oh, you think we'd settle for Promethean knockoffs? This is the Handsome Jack VIP experience, baby! Right. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. Sorry, because of the security situation, the tour's canceled. Uh, what? We weren't told about this. I'm telling you now. We've waited months. So wait a few more. We're not leaving. So you better give us this tour. All right. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The, uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This... depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Ooh! Ah! What a scene. Handsome Jack... defeating... um... Oh, man, what didn't Handsome Jack do? Cool! The entire army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. Huh. What a mess. Whoa, you are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. Jack's infamous horse, made from real diamonds. And, uh... Wish I had a horse like that. Wish I had diamonds like that. Whoever rides this horse is granted three wishes. All three of Jack's wishes, naturally, were for more guns. Oh, ingenious. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait! Um... Uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kinda just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. It's just a chair. But what it represents is an idea. Jack started as a lowly programmer sitting in a chair just like this. And now he has a VIP tour dedicated to his greatness. Just imagine where your chairs might take you. Straight to the top, baby! Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. That was a test, people. And you failed. Wait, what? How does that work? All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office.
I'm gonna need you to step aside and raise your arms. Ho oh, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah. I don't trust her. You're welcome for the awesome tour. Awesome? Yeah, it seemed like you just made up half of it. You ungrateful little poser. <laughs> okay, if posing as Handsome Jack is a crime, then find me guilty. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time, it's mine. Understood. Woo, woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Gordon, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm. Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just... Stop! What? Oh boy. I, 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 I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh. It ought to be. I paid good money for this. Uh-uh. I want the full Handsome Jack VIP experience. That means going all the way. Sure. Go for it. Handsome Jack, here I come. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the Handsome Jack VIP experience. Oh, we hope man. you enjoyed your tour. You're Goodbye. Your own lady. I ain't cleaning that shit up again. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Damn it. I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay, wacky, hacky is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and, and that is saying a lot. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second, and, uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay, I gotta call you back, that's here. Crap. He said to hold tight! Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't reason, then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. You, uh, really want to talk to me like that? You can't just come back after what you did and expect things to be the same. Sure I can. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Bond all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you would betray me. You're only out for yourself. If you couldn't handle the risk, maybe you shouldn't have taken Vasquez's deal. My deal. I am Vasquez in the, uh... So in the first place, maybe you shouldn't have. Weren't Reese and Vaughn your friends? They were dead the second they set foot on Pandora. If I was gonna lose them anyway, I might as well get something out of it. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. Mallory's the one who pawned that body off on me. She must have switched corpses. I wouldn't worry, though. Reese is probably still dead. I want his head here. I don't care if he's dead somewhere else. No, you really don't. 
I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? And, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. A reminder, if you have been wounded by gunfire, please hang up and dial emergency medical services. Eva, we need to talk. Oh, yeah? What about? You got this, pal. Don't... Mess it up, or we'll die. Security officers are busy eliminating other threats, and will take your call in the order it was received. If you are still alive, press 1 now. Everything is gonna be fine, okay? By tomorrow, you'll be sipping macchiatos with the rest of the galaxy's most morally flexible. That's not your style, Hugo. What are you playing at? <laughs> oh, I don't play. That's for children. And I am a complex, awesome man. A man's man's man. You should be humble to stand in my presence. I'll stand wherever I damn well please. Especially in my own office. Not for long. I don't know what you're up to, but you better make this right. And fast. You have my word. Oh, and Hugo? I'm watching you. Fiona, you there? Marie, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have, a, you know, a mission to accomplish? I ran into an old friend, who I guess is a new enemy. <laughs> wow, everyone is trying to screw you over. Oh, I have all the luck, don't I? So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown, and I can't get the beacon. A little help? Uh, I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no law means everybody's gonna die. At least we're all doomed together. Yay! Come on, Reese. It'll come to you. You know, if I were you in there with the vat, I would have let my stun baton do the talking. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to Strangulation Town. With a brief stop, I'd make an Arise Bug Out real weird station. Jack, if you're not here to help, get lost. Don't tell me to get lost. You get lost. Uh, I, I can't think when you're talking. I'll, ca I'll call you back. Wait, what? Reese! As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell ya, you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Just 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 to make sure, this trap door, is it a is it a way out door or an instant death trap door? You know, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but am I gonna die when I go through it? You know, I'd be insulted if I didn't know you better. Which is it? It's the key to our whole plan! You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, oh, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. No, no way. Forget it. This plan is insane. Coming up here in a rocket caravan with cheap muscle and a couple of con artists. That was freaking insane. I'm just trying to make sure we both survive this festering mess of yours. Okay, then. Guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. <laughs> Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Fee, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. 
All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, I just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it, and do it quick. I gotta go. All right, we do this Pandoran style. Putting this horse down. Grr! I'm ready for prison life! <gasps> why... why is it... You didn't see anything! Why is it doing that? Stop looking! Why is it bleeding? There's, there's blood! Why is there blood? What if it was just filled with strawberry jam? I told you, just get arrested and meet me at... Reese, there! Uh, Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassius. He saved me back there, and we're just... I don't know where, but we're eating drake fruit. Really want to... With the... Uh, Vaughn? With the thing! Vaughn? Vasquez! Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! to lead. Hey, 
You... All right, well, screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see know one. Nothing. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese. Things are going great. Did you just say Reese? Nothing. I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? How much of a beating did you lay on these two, huh? Clearly they're brain damaged. I mean, just like the regular amount. Ah, come on. Clearly not the way this one's babbling on. So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey. I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Nice job. So, what is this plan, exactly? I found out about a trapdoor that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. Phew! Woo! Glad I got these meaty ham hocks. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, sometimes you just gotta trust people. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. Alright, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem! Hurry up, Reese! Just a bit! <laughs> How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem! Try not to die! Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her. Climb, climb. You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave him the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Look, we had to change plans. There were... complications. Well, let me uncomplicate it. 
get the beacon, bring it to me. Yeah, working on it. Good. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. This place is just overflowing with assholes. I don't know how I stood it for so long. Cause you had to. But hey, you're in the big leagues now. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just take it easy. Soak in the sights. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype. But it, uh, killed the subject. Which is great, but just... Not what we're going for. Who's this? Oh, uh... Yeah, that's... My angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but... Uh, you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordis, you there? Hey! Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. That gorgeous. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. 
So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh, it's you! How are you doing? Gordas, come back over here. Wow! You're all telling me to do the same thing! What are the odds of that? We could wield Hyperion's might together. How would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? I'd fix Pandora. There's some good people down there, and they deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? You've done well so far, kid. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes! You! You are my favorite dude! So what's next? There it is. That's the executive override port. Jack in, and this will all be yours. Jack in. You get it? Big moment for us, kiddo. Been a long time coming. A lot of people had to die. But we finally made That's it. <laughs> Here it comes. Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh, she's gonna be so surprised when she sees the two of us running high period. And she doesn't even know I exist. That's... Oh god, it's, it's priceless. So, is that it? Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it feels good to get out of there. Road trip's over, Reese. We made it. So, what happens now? Oh, you? You're getting a huge promotion, pal. And since I'm in the system now, allow me to do the honors. Hey, friends. Remember me? It's your old pal, Jack. Well, pencils down, amigos. I've got someone to introduce you to. There's a new president in town. That's right, baby. Get those hands a clapping. Because I want to give a very special Hyperion welcome to the chiefiest of executives. Totally president material. All the way from janitorial! <laughs> <laughs>
This can't be happening. Wait, so this is actually mine. This this is mine to control. Take it in, Reese. Iberian Pandora help us? Oh, they are just the start. We'll rule this entire freaking universe. You and me, kiddo. President Reese and handsome. Goddamn Jack. Ah! <laughs>